Here. Help me with this. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts were unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Those towers 
Hunter history. What's your situation down there? Come in! Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hit! Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah, after capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Bulkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup that go? We were able to recover Adrian Azoulay's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. It'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us. Thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to King of Kong, but it's still stacked with Perseus' agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision in your own accord. I just want you to know this little thing that's happening with you and me. It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. Yeah! I've been looking. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. That could like to son. In order to save the son. <laughs> oh, I see. Sir. And then...
all will be murdered. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I suffer. Just as much as we think of I finished your damn trial. Now, now give me, me back my son. son! There. All you have to do is open that grave. You know that whatever happens, I will not know anything in the world. I am not dead. I took the poison an hour ago, and I'm not dead. <laughs> You're honest. They've killed more of you than I can count. 
And you are the same pathetic beast. Is he supposed to scare me? Another piece of fascist filth. Don't worry. I'll hunt him down next. <laughs> You thought you'd take me city and crush my people. You tried to break me, but you failed. You created Lady Nightingale. And now, she's destroyed you. <coughs> Infamous Lady Nightingale brought Stalingrad back from the brink. Her actions inspired the Russians to take back their city and go on the offensive. The leader changed the course of the war for the Allies and her people. With that reputation, it was only a matter of time before we found her. I am Jin Sakai, nephew, Lord Shimura. I have come to avenge his honor. <laughs> Your uncle has told me much about you, Jin Sakai. I will show him his nephew. Broken and humiliated Beggy to join the Mongol Empire. <laughs> this is your tie, Lord. Oh! <laughs> 
Master of Clan Sakai. Yes. You're not a leech. Your father is the wind at your back. Your mother. Birds in the trees. And uncle? He will tell you. Eat your father's pyre. Thank you, beautiful. If you ever need guidance, Clan Adachi will help you. Because of me. Your father fell in battle saving his only son. His reward is a warrior's death. Now you will carry on his legacy. Your father's spirit resides within his blade. He is always with you. 